What's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, I had to drop the camera there, and it actually stopped recording at the same time then, so I'm just going to go over the details of the truck, because these details are spot on, nigh on, perfect. This thing is the optimist to get. First off, we got new flame details on the back of the hub. We got chrome rims. Looking very smooth. That's nice. Autobot symbols in the middle of the rim. See that? Nice. Chromed out Western Star logos in the back. You got a silver painted hitch. Silver painted bumper. Silver painted back of the cab. You got chrome rims on both sides all the way around. You've got nice cherry red metallic flame details on top of ch nice chrome dark metallic blue. We got the black windows instead of the old piss yellow color. We got silver painted details here and here are, are the vents of the grill. We've got a chrome grill with a blue stripe accurate to the movie. Chrome gas tanks, chrome step ladder to get in. We've got details here and here, nice looking details. We've got the painted headlights this time. And looking very nice. Now, to transform this thing, first off, we just pop off the top like this. Oh, we can also show you this. Uh, it stores the sword and vehicle mode. Also the shield on the back, just like the old one. Looking at the shield, nice metallic details here and here. Uh, metallic silver with chrome, the same chrome blue on the sides of the border. Metallic cherry red in the middle. Looking nice on the triple blaster. The sword comes out of the bottom. It's got nice details if you get the Japan exclusive. It's actually painted up movie accurate colors. All right, now to transform this bad boy. Oh yeah, chrome right, atoth, right across the top here. Looking very nice. Pop up this. We split this just like so. All right. And move these to the side. You want to drop down the sides like so on the double hinge right here. Pull it out. Down the sides of the sew with the double hinge right here. Pull it out. All right. Now next we want to pull the legs down like so. First we detach this right here, and then we push it down. Detach and push down. All right. Keep these open up on the double hinge wide. Next we want to do the waist and spin it around like so. Like that. Then what I do is I pop open the, the truck, detaching that, and lift up the legs just a little bit to get them out of the way. Then, hold on, moving up. Then we want to pop the arms out to the side, flip open this bicep swivel, turnable wrists, arm, bicep swivel, uh, pose, uh, rotating wrist. Then we pull the legs down. First leg, we want to pop the grill, put it to the back, and cubby it up there. Then this comes out with that trap door right there that fills in. Uh, see that? Very nice. Goes around like that. Pop out a little uh, catch right here to pull out the foot. And then rotate the wheel to the back. Same on the other side down this, spin it to the back, pop out the foot with the trap door, catch for the toe, pull it up, wheel to the back. Now we can stand them up, and we can move up again once more. All right. All right, next we want to move one leg forward and then put this center back. And then you can put it back again. One leg forward so you can get this part here to center behind it. And then you can move it back after. All right. Last but not least, we want 
to pull the shoulders down and pull down the chest. Oh, hold on a second. That should be like that. That should be like that. Pops open the head. Now this is AD31 Optimus Prime. Armor Knight Optimus Prime. Alright. It's looking very nice. He's got his new feet. Very nice feet. Accurate to the movie. He's got nice painted flame detailing on the inside of his legs. Gold detailing on his legs with silver detailing. He's got a new waist skirt piece, a lot shorter and more accurate to the movie. He's got new gauntlets and arms with very nice paint details, flame details looking spot on. He's got a new chest with uh, accurate to the movie, the flames kind of breast pieces. Autobot symbol in the middle, gold detailing underneath the breast pieces. Metallic silvers. He's got a very nice look to him. This is the Optimus Prime to get, man. And then he's got a new head, too. So, what you do is you pop this open like that. You spin it around like so. Can you see that? Yeah. You spin it around like so. And then you put it back down. And he's got his face. Maskless face. Looking very nice. Posability. You can move his head up and down. You can tilt it back and forth a little. He's got shoulders that go out. They go up. Universal. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got 90 degree elbow. A little over 90. He's got rotating... Sorry about that. He's got rotating wrists now. He's still got a waist swivel. He can put his legs up. He can put his legs out. He's got a swivel underneath the th above the knee. He's got a nice 90 degree bend at the knee. He's got a little bit of ankle tilt. He's got some foot articulation. And this is the Optimus that I want to get. And I'm glad I did. I also have uh, the Hasbro version, and this blows that away. Um, guys, this is the Optimus to get. He actually uh, can put a shield in this, like the original one. And they've also designed it so you can put his shield in the other arm as well. So, yeah, yeah very nice. Put a sword in his hand. Still got the posable thumbs there, too. And this is AD31 Optimus Prime Armor Knight rolling out. Comment, rate, and subscribe, people, if you want. Uh, drop comments. Get a hold of me. Watch some more videos. Peace.